How's it going, everyone? I'm your coach, trainer, caller, and I'm your coach for the San Francisco Swampers. And this week is week number seven, the final week of the season of the Indigo League of Legends. Okay, so this week we're facing Kangas Cloud, a.k.a. the coach of the Tacoma Travenants. My analysis video is up. I'll put it in the description of this video. If you want to check it out, that is. But it's already uploaded. You can check it out in the description or you can go down my playlist. Whatever. Now, if you notice here, this is recorded in high quality. Uh, shout out to Kanga for helping me record this in high quality because my iPhone can't really record long battle sizes. Okay, so here I have my Ferrothorn, Talonflame, Gastrodon, Mega Gengar, Hitmonchan for the first time because we drafted him not that long ago, and then Behem. The main facts on King Squad's side is pretty much the Tornadus and the Trevenant, the Greninja. All those guys are pretty annoying to fight. Okay, so, we're going to start out with Emperor S. I live with one HP there, with the heat wave that he went for. I had a Focus Sash in this battle, but it did not activate for some reason. Either I live with one HP, which that would be a miracle. That would be insanely a miracle moment there for my Ferrothorn there. And that actually happened, so awesome. We are able to paralyze the Tornadus. A couple of times, actually, and get up my stealth axe. Now here I make a I make a few misplays in this battle. I'll point those out during the match, or during this video, rather. And that first mistake is going into my Hitmonchan the way I did. It was it was dumb because I he went for U-turn with his Tornadus. And that means that he can go into something that would be super effective against my Hitmonchan, a.k.a. Starmie. He went into Starmie and he goes for Side Shock. I went back into Sephira hoping that he would go for a Side Shock or a War type move. And he goes just for that. And then the second mistake happens right here. He went for Rapid Spin. And I go for Recover. What I should have done is gone into my Mega Gengar, or just a regular Gengar, and I could go for that Mega Evolution, but instead, I let him Rapid Spin those Stealth Rocks away. And I go for Surf on the Trevenant, who is the mascot of the Tacoma Trevenants. Now, you'll notice just how annoying the Trevenant is in this battle, but I thought I had an answer for it until we see a Brave Bird do that type of damage to the Starmie, and we see that Starmie with leftovers. That basically confirms that the Starmie is like fully invested in physical defense. Now here I make another mistake. I go into my Gastrodon, and that leads to this really unnecessary Star War. I'm going to speed this up. And it's pretty hilarious. Just looking at Gastrodon fast most fast motion, and look at Starmie too, he's just like rocking back and forth. It's pretty entertaining if you ask me. But yeah, we went into the Skull War, it's going to end eventually, uh, but I don't really gain anything in this scenario other than the fact that we forced the Starmie out. Yeah, uh, that basically happened there. But you know, that's okay. Now I really should have gone Either I should have gone to my Mega Gengar then, or go for an Ice Beam, because Ice Beam would be super effective. I wanted to check and see if he had either Leech, Seed, or the Grass-type move, Horn Leech. Uh, but he has Leech Seed. I get a Freeze Hats here, and that is fantastic, because now I can go into my Mega Gengar, or... In this case, I've decided to go back into my Mustang, the Talonflame, and go for Brave Birds or Flare Blitz. Now, annoying as, as annoying as Trevenant is, with the Harvest ability, it makes it so that he can use the Citrus Berry over and over again. And that's why it's so annoying to take out. That's kind of why Kangas Cloud shows that Pokemon. 
yeah, pretty annoying. And then, you know, we have, we have Mustang here going for Brave Birds, you know, like, I, I should I don't know, it's just, it's just Starmie that's blocking the Brave Birds, because he can take those all day long and then recover. So, yeah, if we can get rid of that Starmie, we can go for Brave Birds and all that. We're going to bring in my space alien, the Behem. This is a different Behem as opposed to my offensive one. It has light screen, reflect, psychic, and shadow ball. Now, we do get some information about the Kecleon. In my analysis video, I was not expecting... I didn't know what to expect from it, that is. But we do got some information about it. So we see Stealth Ross and Sucker Punch. Stealth Ross are annoying because I it, it forces it forces me to not switch out a lot. Or in other words, I, I can't really switch out all that often. There we go. That was hard to say for some reason, but that's neither here nor there. And he went for Rock Tomb, probably expecting the California to come in. I'm not really sure, because I would take all that energy hazards coming in. So here, I go into my Hitmonchan. I was going to go for a Rapid Spin to get rid of those Stealth Rocks, but he goes for... I go for Fire Punch, excuse me. But he pro he protects. Now he knows I have Fire Punch. I really should have gone for another Fire Punch, because then I would hit the... Trevenant, I went for Drain Punch. Granted, if I went for a Fire Punch, I would let the Trevenant get thawed out from the frozen animation thing going on there. Alright, so we do have a couple of switches here, meaning that we have a double switch, and then he switches back into my, or to his Trevenant, and... That is going to come into huge play because now he thaws out and then he goes for each seed and then I go for another ice beam hoping for either a critical hit or another freeze but I don't get that unfortunately and now you see just how epic the Trevenant is with the combination of Harvest, C and then the Citrus Berry he's going to restore a whole bunch of health that's why it's so difficult in taking it out, and I almost kill it right there, but again, he has the Citrus Berry and then Leech Seed Recovery. Now we're in a very tough spot. Uh, yeah. But we do have, we do have uh, some answers for this Trevenant in the form of my uh, Cow Flame, and of course, Stealth Rocks are up, so I've decided to sack off my Emperor X, and then I, I do take the Stealth Rocks, and then I have to go for Roost. That way, if he's going to go for another Shadow Claw, I can live it, and then we can go for a Brave Bird. That's what happens, but at this point, I think Kanga didn't want his Trevenant anymore, and while I had this battle, I was like, yes, I, I got rid of this Trevenant. I got the moral victory, meaning I accomplished something even though, you know, this happens. So. All right, on the double gown, which are the best types of gowns, we're going to for, go for a rapid spin. And I got rid of the Stealth Fox, yes, but I don't live the Air Slash. I don't know if that's the best play I should have done, but that's neither here nor there. I go for recover with my Gastrodon afterwards. I haven't touched the Tornadus all that much in this battle, and I mean, I'm not saying that I have an answer for it. Ah, <sighs> man. It's just, you know. And then we get to another Star War. Hooray! <laughs> and, uh, I don't know how this ended up being the way it is, but in this, in this Star War, I am going to take out Starmie because I go for Earth Powers over and over. And I also uh, go for a cover a couple of times. But yeah, we do take care of the Starmie. But, you know, we have Grand Ninja here, whom I haven't touched at all in this battle as well. And he gets to outspeed me. And then my last Pokemon, which is, of course, my Mega Gengar, Shadow Lark. I thought I could outspeed it and nail it with a Thunderbolt, but 
Mega Gengar is faster, but after the turn that I Mega Evolve, I will be faster because if you Mega Evolve first turn, the regular form of Gengar is taken into account, and then you get the idea, right? So overall, that was an epic battle. Uh, I made a lot of epic predictions, and I also made mistakes, which I've definitely learned from. Between s switching out into, you know, I should have gone into my Gengar, or I could have gone into my, I don't know, it it's just making those mistakes kind of made me more aware of how I can battle as a battler, if I battle in general. But that was a good, a good battle there. I lose 4-0, but we're in the playoffs, gosh darn it. And uh, we're actually facing... We're actually facing Mac again. Uh, Mac was, of course, my week one opponent. And there will not be an analysis for that because we already covered on what Mac has. But we will have the playoffs battle. That was a great sentence. We'll have the first battle of the playoffs be out next week or so. Alright, if you guys enjoyed this battle video, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Alright, bye now.